Your eyes start to fail. Elsewise, I would have seen you for the snake that you are. Chopped you into pieces and roasted you on a spit. This is all you're doing. Cutting off my power, killing off my garden. Without refrigeration, my food will spoil, and my flock will starve. I want to ask you this in private, away from the eyes of my flock, so they do not see me lose my temper. Tell me, why did you do it? I <laughs> don't know. I like pressing buttons, I guess. Are you really this moronical, or are you just putting on airs? Listen here, Hullhead. I'm only gonna say this once. Go talk to Grace and Thomas. Look them in the eye and tell them their life here is over, and the only thing left to do is go back to Edgewater. This is now your responsibility. And you tell Reed Thompson that I will never return to Edgewater. I would rather die among my flowers than live under his management. Yeah, where's all this anger coming from? My son worked in that cannery. When the plague started coming, he was one of the first to fall sick. We had a store of medicine locked away, but Reed refused to treat him. Said my boy didn't deserve treatment. Said the medicine would have been wasted on him. So I buried my boy in the cemetery, gathered my belongings, and left. That's as much of the story as you need to hear. All right, I'll talk to Reed for you. You offering to cross Reed off, huh? This some sort of twisted reparation for what you've done? Or are you just looking for a chance to sow some chaos? Kill Reed if you must, or talk him into leaving if you can. He and I are not sharing the same four walls together. Ooh, we can kill Reed? I'll need some help to convince him. What do we got? Tell Reed that I can make his people healthy again. I can end their plague. Start a new garden right in the cannery. Three square meals for every man and woman in Edgewater. Tell him how I've made the Vale bloom again. The soil has whispered its secrets to me, and I alone know how to breathe life back into the earth. The secret is human corpses. Oh. I've been grinding them up in my fertilizer for years. Marauder, worker, don't matter much to me. The human body is rich with nutrients. Well, there's a circle of life for you. If I were in a better mood, I might be inclined to try and change your mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can see you're a little angry at me. <laughs> Alright, let's get what we came here for. Thank you. Alright, what do we got back here? Oh, you got that? Alright, let's go talk to her people. Where's the door? There it is. Hey, people. Everybody keeps staring at me. It's not my fault the power's dead. Whoa, <laughs> Miss Parvati. <laughs> hey, you're, uh, what, um, how, how are you? Hi, hi, hi. Uh, hello. Are you, uh, uh, are things safe out here? How are you keeping? Great, just great. I've been trying to keep stuff running, just like you. Only I'm not so... Wait, they didn't kick you out, did they? Oh, gosh, no. I I'm just along with this fella here. I've seen you wandering around here. You don't look like you're coming from town. Well, what I meant was you're reasonably well-armed and don't look stricken with plague. Sorry, I just wasn't sure if you were from town or if you were one of us. Something's been chewing at me, you see. Fact is, I've been, well, lying. To everybody here. Camp thinks I'm a mechanical genius, but I couldn't fix a busted chair. Never too late to learn. 
<laughs> I like that. You're lucky the camp's full of idiots. <laughs> I'll take all the help I can get. I set my mind to learning the craft of the engineer, you see. I want to make something of myself. You ever heard of the Young Spacer's Guide to Mechanical Engineering? No. Nope. Comes in a set of three. If I had my hands on one of those data pads, I could teach myself the ins and outs. Well, those are good. My dad kept a copy with him when he was working in the cannery. I know the old community center kept a copy. Should find another one back in town. If you could find me even one of those pads, I'd be greatly obliged. Yeah, I got at least one of those pads. No kidding! Really? Well, which one? Let's see, we found one. Look at that! Building a computing machine out of Spectrum Potatoes, a primer. I'm just glad it survived all these years. I appreciate you going through all that trouble. In fact, I put aside something special. On the off chance that somebody would search out those data pads for me. Uh, I've got more. Well, don't keep me in suspense. Uh, I got number three. The geothermal plant? Now that is just incredible. You really went exploring down there? Adelaide always told us it was swarming with hostile mechanicals. Two whole data pads? Be still my beating heart. Oh, almost forgot your payment. Yeah, I'll let you know if I find the second one. Sure. I'd be glad to take them off your hands. I've been thinking about going back. I'm not much used to anybody here. I get sick thinking about working at the cannery. I can't do that again. Yeah, you don't want to work at the cannery, be an engineer. You know something? I think you're right. The town could use another engineer, and I'm on my way to becoming one. I could do a lot of good in Edgewater. Maybe even keep a garage of my own with a little workbench and my very own toolbox. It's just... Adelaide's never gonna forgive me. Not in a hundred years. I go crawling back to my old life in Edgewater, and... I'm as good as dead to her. Probably. Oh, let's go kill Reed. You know where to find me. What you got to say? Give me some good news. Marauders can't see us in the dark. Wild canids, on the other hand. The matter's been weighing on me. I'm staying put until I know what's become of Zoe. Don't want that question haunting me all the way back to the cannery. All right, we've got to go find go Zoe. All right, let's go find Zoe. Let's put that in our journal as our next uh, frightened engine. Uh, kid of spirit. Yeah, let's go find Zoe. Where's Zoe? This way. 300 and some odd feet. Ah, wrong button. I wanted the... Switch guns. Yeah, let's go with the heavy ammo. Got a new sight put on it. Let's go find the Marauder Zoe. Whoa. I saw a person. Front of us. Where'd he go? Killed him. Oh, we need cover. Oh. Hey, 
hey, that time thing works nice. A little more health there. Alright, that's everybody. Let our companion go. Now well, let's strip them of all their equipment. Party. Hello. Oh, she's out and about. She's walking around somewhere. She's up. Where'd she go? Clever. Did I see a grenade launcher? There she is. I think I saw a grenade launcher. Let's take a look. Oh, yes, we did. Um, let's get rid of number one, shall we? Grenade launcher. What do you use? Heavy? Heavy ammo. 84. All right. That's all the damage you got is 84. Grenade launcher for the win. Uh, that uses the. Oh, shoot, we got a lot of this little ammo here. Not that one. All right. Well, we took out a lot of guys with that grenade. Grenade launcher. Oh, oh look at that! Another figure. We've got another bounty. Woohoo! <laughs> I don't know anybody who ever came out this far. Anybody in here? Nope. Nobody in here. All right. What do we got? Anything good? Right. Some pieces and parts. Some ammo. Some electrical ammo. Nope. Here. You're fast. My machine gun. Too exciting. Yeah. Oh, hey. That had to hurt. Is out here. Oh, hey. Whoa, hey. And you might be. Wow, you crossed them all off like some sort of heroic accountant running down a list. Teach me your ways. Well, I'm pretty confused right now. Hey, me too. But mostly because I just had my second dose of Adrena time. I am so completely addled right now. You, on the other hand, you were a sight to behold. If I had half your skills, I'd be the greatest outlaw the coast has ever seen. Yes, I am a god. I'm great at clarifying. Are you a prisoner? Uh, no. I insinuated myself into their company, see? And they didn't seem to mind one whit. I'm impressed you could pull that off. I may have bartered them a few boxes of Adrena time, but yeah, I'm sure that's got nothing to do with it. No, nothing at all. Gave them drugs. No problem. How are you doing a lot? I don't know. 
The vital processes that constitute the miracle of life are mysterious and unknowable. Oh, you mean around these guys? The marauders wouldn't hurt me. They love me. I'm practically their queen. Yeah, must be my natural charisma. Okay, why'd you leave the camp? I got kicked out of Edgewater on account of falling sick with plague and stealing some medicine to treat myself. I'd heard some outlaws set up camp in the botanical labs. I decided to throw in with them, seeing as I always wanted to be an outlaw myself. Instead, what do I find? But a bunch of former workers camped out around a greenhouse. I couldn't just go back to the cannery, so I was stuck with them. Right. I've got all the time in Halcyon. Uh, yeah, I've been sent to find you. Why? Adelaide wants me back on garden duty or something? Thanks, but I'm not going anywhere. This is where I belong. You should go back, people are worried. I doubt that. Nobody in that camp really cared about me. What about your friend with the, uh... Oh, yeah, your favorite cereal. Wait, you're telling me he's got a copy of the Mass Marketeer? Why didn't you say so? I'll take my stuff and head on back, I suppose. Grace is going to be glaring knives at me, so I've got that to look forward to. All right. Let's search the rest of this place out. Let's see. Uh, nope, that's a barred door. Wish I could do that. Ooh. Professor half lenses. What do those look like? Oh, it's a medicine of three. Studley. Oh, armor 16. We'll take that. Yeah, look at that. Now I look like a stormtrooper. Let's put that big head back on it. Oh, yeah. You don't look human, do you? Bits. Cleared out the cash register. Oh, there we go. More bits. Ammo, both light and heavy. Good. I need heavy. And what's back here? Bathroom. Sure enough, bathroom. Ah. All right. What's upstairs? The outside world. Convenient. Oh, hey, where's this go? Ah, uh, hiding stuff from it. Whoa. Get rid of those. Don't need to accidentally trigger a landmine. Look like there's anything up there. What do we got here? More ammo. Non operable door. There's an operable door. Oh, there's more stuff. Stuff! Space model. What's in here? Hello, tactical shotgun. If that thing's any good. Stunt. Nothing else. That was not worth the hack and the mag hacks that you gotta use. Alright, what else we got? No upstairs? Ah! I think so. Oh, it still did damage. Was well, not far enough away. Oh, what's that? Ah, more mechanicals. No good. Assault rifle. Oh, those are those. Oh, that's that lava, river of lava. Big moon. What the 
heck is that? It's a rainbow-ish. Alright, looks like everything. Oh. got here you got anything Ooh, hey a helmet all right all right that looks like it for over here uh, let's check out the uh, people I blew up collecting goods oh you ain't got nothing you worthless Alright, uh, let's see here. We need to go talk to... Talk to Allied, or should we go to... Not the landing page. Let's go talk to Thompson, see if we can't get Adelaide back in town. Let's see if we can't get Adelaide's job put in charge of the town. Wow, you can point your gun at the guard and he don't do nothing. What it was. I look ridiculous with that little pea shooter in my hand. Look at that thing. The hand's like five times bigger than the gun. And it's a spacious choice gun. It probably doesn't even gonna work. I appreciate what you've done for us. Then we are at an impasse. Stewardship over this town has been entrusted to me by Spacer's choice. I am not perfect. I have made my share of mistakes. But I have done my best for this town. Is that why the cannery isn't even producing tuna? Um, you let Adela's son die. Her son got sick with plague a couple years back. The company never gave us enough medication to treat the whole town. So I had to choose, you see. Adelaide's child, or someone else's. She's never forgiven me. I don't expect she ever will. Yeah, I like this. You say you've done your best, but the town's still falling apart. Yeah, you suck. Let's try that. I have been holding this town together with both hands. You can't just expect me to leave. I'm a spacer's choice man. My father was a spacer's choice man. Edgewater may not look like much to some buttoned up freelancer, but it is my home. Yeah, and you're awful at it. Should I just kill him? Let's go with that. All these people aren't getting the plague. I don't believe you. Plague's a reality of life. Best treatment? is a good work ethic. Have your have people actually eaten vegetables? The very notion is just grotesque. A raw vegetable? Why don't you just ask me to go chew the bark off of a tree? We are a Spacer's Choice Saltuna cannery. We eat Saltuna here, and only Saltuna. Let's see if the garden conversation works. It's pretty sure it's your food making you sick. You need all the you need Adelaide's garden. I'm not gonna out what he, ask what he's actually putting in the cans. I don't understand. You say Adelaide's growing her own food, but that should not be possible. The soil's gone sour. Company said as much. Our own botanists couldn't grow decent crops for us, so the company got rid of them and shut down the greenhouse. Yeah, I'll go with the uh, found a way to grow food. She'll come back if you step down. You'll excuse me for being skeptical. How exactly is Adelaide growing crops in barren soil? Oh, I can't do the look read. It involves some really complicated math. She's been using human corpses in her fertilizer. Adelaide has been using dead bodies in her fertilizer? That's... Come to think of it, that's a stroke of brilliance. What a remarkably efficient solution. 
recycling Spacer's Choice property long after its date of expiration. I was wondering about those missing bodies in Silas's cemetery. I'm not a mood to argue. You want Annalise's help? Step down. You're right. I am being obstinate. If the best thing I can do for this town is to stand down, then stand down I shall. If Adelaide's found a way to feed her people and cure the plague, then she deserves this office more than I do. I won't stand in her way. My life here is ended. Give me a little time to settle my affairs. I'm sure Adelaide will be glad to see the back of me. Yeah, let's ask what his plans are. A couple months ago, I might have put in for a transfer. It's a big colony. Spacer's Choice has other towns. Now, I couldn't show my face in any of them. Why not? No such thing as an honorable resignation. Suppose I could find a place outside the walls, or put in for early retirement. Take care. I don't want him. He's awful. He couldn't even figure out how to feed his town. And I still don't want to know what he's putting in those cans. I don't want to know! Alright, let's see here. We need to get Adelaide back, so let's use fast travel. Back to the botanist lab. Of course, that means I'll probably have to put a bring power back here. But is she here? Uh, well, let's. One of us want to go see what happened. Go do Zoe. I'm not in the lightest of humors right now. Look, I care. We didn't always get along, but I'm glad to know she's safe. What happened, anyway? Zoe joined up with a band of marauders. Zoe. The same Zoe who doesn't know a barrel from a trigger. Yeah. Well, I've heard stranger things. You pretty much did my job for me. Least I could do is pay you for your trouble. Let me know if I can do something for you. Alright, we level up. Now let's go see Adelaide and see if she'll kick out the former boss. Look at that. The snakes come back. I never thought I'd see the day that Reed Thompson abandoned his post. Suppose we all have a breaking point. Suppose it's time our flock made our way back to Edgewater. We must tend to what remains of the town and carry on with our lives as best we may. You're vexing to me, you know? Injuring us with one hand, helping us with the other. Here, I'm giving you something to leave us be. It's a ransom, you understand, not a reward. I made a mess of things, guess I'm trying to set it right. Nope. Edward's better off with you running, because that guy was an idiot. You're telling me you did all this just to put me in charge of Edgewater? Stranger, you are some kind of twisted. I might turn that old cannery into a garden. Got ourselves a whole cemetery bursting with bodies. I need some time to gather my personals. Long walk back to Edgewater. Got a considerable burden to carry. Why don't you can food? You know, the vegetables. Alright, uh... Said the deserters like me. Let's go see what that means. Oh, oh, and I need skills to put up. Let's see, uh... Let's see, let's get my that up to 50. Hacks only at 35, that is awful. And, it, oh, and it's down. Oh, it must be the suit or something. Uh, leadership, no. 
Uh, dialogue, I guess, would be next. Since this game is so dialogue heavy, well, I can't help but wanting to improve my handguns. Reload speed, 30%. Ooh, that would be good. Oh, wow. My long gun has a horrible critical. Well, let's improve the dialogue anyways. Let's put that in stone. Hey, stone. There we go. I got a perk. Let's see. Uh, travelers. Unlock fast travel when encumbered. Lone wolf. No, I have a party. Walk speed. Tactical time. Cargo carry. Additional ammo from vendors. Oh, base armor rating 5. Uh, let's see. Let's go with... Let's go with visiting to travel when encumbered. I haven't been encumbered yet, but it'd be nice to be able to go back and sell my stuff off. All right. Um, oh, yeah. I was going to look for gear. So that gear is horrible. That improves my hack, so we'll wear that for now. Oh, what's this hat? Defense of 9, defense of 16. Oh, but a lockpick perk. Well, now I look like a robot. It's funny as heck. All right, let's see. The journal, Stranger from a Land, Die Robots. We still haven't retrieved the module. We still need to find another volume, a fistful of digits. We got two bounties to collect, and we got the illustrated manual to, to pick oh, up. I'm so we'll do those in the next video. All right, I do appreciate you watching. I enjoy making these videos. I just like having fun, and this is one of the... It's still one of the best games. I don't know if it's better than Marvel. I played Marvel. At least the first portion of the story, I really liked it. I can't wait to get to the DLC download portion of this game. Um, I could use my other character to do it, but I thought I'd reshoot the video since the first set were awful. I didn't know what I was doing. And I only kind of know what I'm doing now, so... But I'm still having fun. I can't wait to get to the DLC stuff, like I said before. So if you like these videos, hit that like button and please subscribe. And I'll pick this up, the rest of the, the, rest of the missions on this Spacer's Choice Planet, in the next one. See you on the flip side. Later.